hit sand. Oh my god, Dad. What's on your face? It's a mustache, Meg. Oh, I think it's sexy. Gosh, mustache culture is pretty cool. <laughs> if only a mustached American lifestyle were that simple. Hi, I'm Dr. Aaron Perlett from the American Mustache Institute. A recent study between the American Mustache Institute and Quicken Online found that people of mustached American descent, while earning 8% more than our bearded counterparts, are spending 11% more than those with beards. Not good. Geez, just this week I spent $100 on condoms, $275 on Budweiser. I just, I just had to buy the Hall & Oates Deluxe box set. Jesus. Who knew monogamous lovemaking could be so expensive? Real mustached Americans with real problems. Saving money, just like anyone else. That's why the American Mustache Institute has partnered with our friends at Quicken Online to provide real solutions. So we've set up a toll-free number, 877-STASH-1. We'll be providing counseling to mustached Americans. And Quicken Online will also be flying one person of mustached American descent to Stash Bash 2009 in St. Louis, featuring John Oates. Landlines, huh? <laughs> He'll have to call you back, thanks. For more information, call 877-STASH-1, visit AmericanMustacheInstitute.org, or go to Ticketmaster for tickets to Stash Bash 2009, featuring John Oates and presented by Quicken Online and Budweiser at the Orpheum Theater in downtown St. Louis. Yes, the wild, unique, sexually adventurous lifestyle of the mustached American, but it's not, however, without its perils. Lois, I am gonna grow a mustache. Then I'll have it made, like the Monopoly guy. Except when he goes directly to jail. I wish I could tell you that the Monopoly guy fought the good fight, and the sisters let him be. I wish I could tell you that. But prison is no fairy tale world. I'm a mustache.